everybody, this is your host, Ms. Dietrich, helping you on Lesson 1.4, which is on Greatest Common Factor. Most people tend to do okay with finding the Greatest Common Factor and using factor trees and various methods to finding it, but they're confused about how to follow the directions that you see here, which are use the GCF, which stands for Greatest Common Factor, and the distributed property to express the sum as a product. Whenever you see something like that as a set of directions, step one is to find the GCF of both add-ends. So let's take a look at number 10. If we look at number 10 and we find the prime factorization for 20, think of two factors that would give you 20 other than 1 times 20, so maybe 2 to 10, 2 and 10 comes to mind. This is prime, but this is composite, so we're going to keep branching on the 10. 2 times 5 equals 10. And let's bring down the 2. All right, so if I kind of rewrite this neatly, I'm just going to put it over here. The prime factorization for 20 is 2 times 2 times 5. All right, now let's think of 35. 35, let's erase what we have here so it's out of the way. And now let's think of the prime factorization for 35. All right, 5 times 7 equals 35. These are both prime, so that prime factorization is done. So I'm just going to write it under here. All right, when you're finding the GCF of two numbers, you're looking for matches in the two prime factorizations. So we see a match right here, and that's the only one. So that means the GCF of 20 and 35 is 5. So we're going to put it like this, 5, and then we're going to put in a set of factors. All right, now the other thing that you should probably think of is if you were to add this, what would it add up to be? And it would add up to be 55, because we're going to use that later on just to confirm that we're doing this correctly. All right, so now if you think about it, 5 times what is 20? And that number is 4. 5 times what is 35? And that would be 7. So now the only thing left to do is to figure out what operations we need here. Now if we were to add these two things together, 4 plus 7, wouldn't that be 11? And if we were to multiply that with 5, 5 times 11, wouldn't we get 55? So 55 is our answer, and this is how to rewrite it, following the directions that you saw for numbers 10, 11, and 12.